So I'm out here in Marina del Rey today, uh, out in the harbor. You can see here, uh, we get the boat Amnesia behind me. I'm sure that's a party boat, has to be, right? I wanna to talk today about something that is really powerful and uh, I think can be huge when it comes to becoming a really confident man. This one little thing can be a game changer. Now, there is a caveat to it. You've got to learn to connect and have connected conversations first. You gotta to learn to be able to have rapport. And for a lot of you nice guys, you can do that. Some of you can't. Some of you come to the workshop and that's the first place we have to start. We have to start by teaching you to open at the heart and the throat and learn to connect and learn to feel and learn to relate. If you don't have that down, check out the um, the body scan meditation. It's free on YouTube. It's something that a lot of clients have used. One client used it for nine months, came into one of my workshops, killed it. And uh, because he listened to it every day, he said sometimes twice a day and he said it radically shifted his reality. Um, another great tool for learning to do this is my book, The Art of Fearless Seduction. Check that out. Just came out. You can find a link to that in the video too. Uh, great book, teaches you all the embodiment principles. But learning to connect is huge. And so once you've got down basic connection skills, where do we go from there? What do we do? Well, you got to learn to break rapport or reject. And, uh, and this is so powerful because a lot of nice guys, when they learn to connect or when guys first learn to connect, they're terrified to break rapport. They're terrified of losing the person, losing the connection. They haven't had it in years. They haven't been able to enjoy feeling another human being connected to them in years. Or when they get it, it's so long between they're afraid of losing it or they don't want to upset somebody. They don't want to hurt somebody's emotions. So they're bad at breaking rapport. And unfortunately, attractive women can feel that. They can feel they can wrap you around their finger and they hate it. They wanna know that when they treat you like shit or if you get manipulated, that you, you can pick up on it and you can reject, you can say no. Part of why they test you, they wanna see if you can handle it. And so your ability to break rapport is really powerful. Another really important piece with that is if you start to feel too much wanting in a relationship. So if you're wanting something, your ability to break rapport and reset yourself is so powerful. So when I go out, if I'm meeting a girl and I really like her and I start to want something from her and there's a sense of a lean in, like, oh, I really like you. I like break rapport and I'm gonna reset and I'm gonna come back. And there's a simple little technique for this. It's so powerful. Once you can learn to connect and you can really hold that connection and you're, you're solid in that connection, and you're gonna see the naturals do this all the time. Uh, the pickup community calls it a rock step, right? The naturals just take their energy and they move it in another direction. And they really move the energy in that direction. They let go of the hot girl completely. And then they come back, regrounded in their body, look back at her and start talking again. Maybe they check out, maybe they just met her and they're looking around the room, taking in the environment. Maybe they're taking in, like for example, I was looking at this statue for a second. Maybe they're looking at a boat, like there's that boat, the amnesia over there. Whatever it is, they're taking it in fully. Now, there's a caveat to this. I've seen guys do this and totally fuck it up. How do they fuck it up? They go to take in something else, but their mind is over here. They're thinking about what's going on over here and then they come back and they haven't really left. And the girls can feel the difference instantly. So I look away and there's a sense, oh, does she like it? Does she, am I doing a good job? Am I doing a good job? And then they come back. No, you can't do that. You gotta literally look over here, focus on the thing you're focusing on, the tree, the amnesia, and really take it in until your senses get wrapped up in that and curious about that, and then come back and reestablish, oh, what were we talking about? Where were we at? or I'm still here, don't worry, I haven't gone anywhere. And what this does is it resets you. And really confident women love this. Now don't do it, overdo it. Don't do it just as a technique to get her attracted. But when you feel yourself leaning in too much, you don't have a sense of personal power anymore. You're losing it to her. Reset, self-entertain for a second, take in something else, relax, open your heart over this direction, and then come back, take her back in. If she's treating you like shit, if she's pushing your buttons, trying to manipulate you, hey, we buy me a drink. You should buy me a drink right now. And you know, if you really, if you really liked me, you'd buy me a drink. Turn away, reset, come back. Oh, what were you saying again? And just kind of have fun with that. And that can change everything. The more you do that, the more powerful you'll become. Now, in our workshops, which are so powerful, they change guys' lives. First thing we do is we teach them to connect. Next thing we do is teach them to t break rapport over and over again, get really solid rapport with these beautiful women, and then break rapport. 
and the women love it and the guys often if they got a lot of nice guy syndrome hate it they'll be looking at the women and they go to break rapport and every part of their body doesn't want to do it every part of their body's fighting them and the women are like go oh, do it do it and they're the ones having the problem not the women that's the funny part so if you really want to shift this part of your life if you really want to make a change practice this go practice it right now go out and practice it with the barista at the coffee shop practice it with people that are trying to sell you stuff the moment you feel yourself getting sucked in and they're trying to manipulate break report for a sec let them go and then come back and practice it over and over practice it with friends look at a friend feel a sense of connection tell the friend what you're doing and then break rapport and see if they can still feel your energy focus this way even when you're looking away or if you actually let go and can move away and do it over and over again. If you want real world instruction on this, then definitely contact us. Contact us at thefearlessman.com uh, or get into one of our workshops also on thefearlessman.com on the events page. And we can give you real world instruction. If you want something simple, check out my ebook, The Art of Fearless Seduction. And uh, this stuff is a game changer. This one simple technique can be really powerful in changing your reality and helping you to become more confident. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment below. I definitely want you to comment after you practice a little bit. So take a little note and say, I'm gonna go practice this. I'm gonna come back and comment on how much it's helping me to change and how it's helping me to change. Make sure to like if you haven't liked. Make sure to subscribe, help us to build. We're trying to get to that 100,000 marker and above. We're trying to get out there so we can bring you more videos and more trainings, more teachings. And the bigger we grow the channel, the more we can bring you. So definitely make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell notification. And with that said, remember, only the confident really live. See you in the next video. Thank you.